We're going to do a stepwise regression here. The reason I use a stepwise is if you have a whole lot of predictor variables, a whole lot of them, and this one is. This one has from training all the way down to holiday bonus. These are all predictor variables. You're going to see which one of these is significantly predicting the DV of job satisfaction. And they're all scaled, so that makes it a lot easier. So we're simply going to go to Analyze, Regression. And so all the IVs, all the predictors, go in the independent box. And where did we start? We started from Training. And we're going to go all the way down to Holiday Bonus. Bounce them over there. We're going to click the DB job satisfaction into the dependent variable box. Very important. We're going to go to stepwise. Stepwise. And then we click our buttons. And again, we're not worrying about the assumption or the APA write-up write with this one. Click OK. And here's the regression done by stepwise. So here's all the means and standard deviations. Again, not very important to be used. They're important, but we we don't talk about them in the regression world. Correlations, don't really care about that box. So this tells you, this box, variables entered, removed, this tells you what type of regression you did. So if you have multiple enter, 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 that's a hierarchical. If you only have the enter in once, that's just a, what we call a, a simultaneous or a standard Multiple regression, but if you see the word stepwise, that means the computer is taking over. Bum, 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 bum. So it tells you right off the bat which two were, in fact, significant. Work stress, stepwise, and salary. Those were both good predictors of job satisfaction. So here is the first model, and that is strictly with um, work stress. And you got a pretty big R squared, 0.631. That's actually quite large, and that's significant. And then when you add in the second one, salary, it jumps up to 0.852, which is crazy big. So you do have a significant regression. And with both of these, with the two IVs, you would use them in both of your prediction model because they're significant. The rest of them weren't significant, so you're not going to use them in your model. So if you would write up this equation, it would look like your predicted DV of job satisfaction, your Y, would equal 4.362 minus... 5.30 times whatever the work stress was plus 0.468 whatever their salary was times whatever their salary was plus a little bit of error. That's how you would do that. But that's it. MGZ out.